What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. I'm Simon with Prolific Soccer and today I'm going to show you our first home game of the season. So right now it is currently 8.30 a.m. and the game starts at 7 p.m. So we got all day to wait for that stuff. So I'm going to show you kind of my routine behind the scenes of game day. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below where we create weekly training videos for you guys. Like the video if you enjoy the content and be sure to comment down below if you have any questions at all. Also, be sure to follow us on our Instagram at prolific.soccer, where we post daily soccer and workout videos. All right, guys, let's get into the video. All right, so a little bit of time after the big breakfast. It's about 11.30 right now, so we're gonna go work out, get a little bit of mobility, stretching, all that type of stuff. Um, that's kind of the big problem with the later games, like at 7 p.m. when you're waiting all day and you're kind of thinking about the games. That's kind of what I don't wanna do, so I wanna get out of my head, uh, get the blood flowing a little bit, and also get the muscles right for the game. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a little workout that I do before, and then also I'm gonna show you the lunch that I'm gonna eat afterwards. So let's go. All right, so after the workout and the lunch, now it's time to take a nap. I just showered, so after the nap, I'm gonna get ready for the game, probably eat something light, and then I'll show you kinda the game scenes, and then I'll show you some videotape from the game film tonight. So, see you after. All right, so on the way to the game, like I said, it's at 7 p.m., so it's just about to start. Uh, in about two hours, we're getting here about five. Um, so we can sit there in the locker room, kind of decompress, uh, get ready, and then we'll warm up and play. Uh, so I just woke up from the nap and ate just something a little bit light, like apple and some almonds. Then I did some stretching as well and some foam rolling. Uh, so let's go. We're excited. First game of the season. Let's go. just a couple years ago but looking to make a statement the only team in Chicago to be playing in the NPSL opportunity here for Fabricatore not able to get on it as Nico sends it out of the box and now Chicago trying to counter not able to do so as Milwaukee gains control again
Once again, Torrent being patient here, trying to find a way through the back line of PAO. Fabricatore making the run, does not touch. Milwaukee now, can they get an opportunity here? Goal! Ian Seto for FC Milwaukee Torrent in the 21st minute. Seto, however, standing over this ball. Strong left foot looking to play it into the box on the opposite side. Nico gets ahead in it for Chicago. Some nice moves there. And another goal! Tony Dollefield! Let's see, or, you know, let's see how the practice players are here. They watch the game. So, yeah, it's, it's good. Speaking of which, Sarah on the ball plays it nicely outside. Pereira on the ball, making his way to the box. Left foot, right footed shot, bounces off of Kronopoulos, who's able to gather it. Andy Davi, thank you. While he is an American citizen, he is also an Algerian citizen. And then, of course, several players out of the United States and quite a few from the Milwaukee area. And I will say, including my nephew, Connor Provan, who right now is a bit injured. Sixth team. But instead they are not playing in the NPSL this year. Which means there's some odd scheduling for these five teams in the Great Lakes Conference. Ball played into the box. Almost goes in the goal. Milwaukee are looking to close this out. We'll keep our eyes on the fourth referee to see how much time we have. Weber now with one-on-one, -on -one, plays it forward. Goal! Milwaukee have taken it himself. Instead, instead sees Fillion wide open on the left, plays it to him. And Fillion finishes the job with that 90th minute goal. And a great run there by Fillion. Making sure he put that one away. And Chicago comes right back. Ball played in the box. Bounces off of a Torrent player, and that was off of Dagane to play as we are in the 97th minute. We were told five minutes of stoppage. We are now over six and a half minutes into stoppage. Ricks with the long throw in. And that will be it after an intense, intense last 10 minutes of play. FC Milwaukee Torrent clinches a 3-2 win in their first home game of the NPSL season. Now a red card issued to, I am not sure if it was a Chicago player. Yes, it was number seven post game. Jesus Cervantes, who was already on a yellow card. All right, so there you go. There's the clips of the game. Uh, so we were up 3-0, and we had kind of a scare in the 90-plus minutes. They scored two goals at the end, uh, so it was just a little bit scary. But we came out with that one as a win against Chicago, so that one was 3-2. to two. We're going to have to address some things this week. But thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to have to do an away game day vlog soon, so be sure to check that one out. If you haven't already, like I said, be sure to subscribe down below. Also comment if you have any questions or any suggestions and videos that, we, that you want to see. And uh, also be sure to follow us on Instagram at prolific.soccer where we post daily soccer and workout videos. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.